Hi, I'm Dad. And I'm Max. Uh, hey Max, how come you're so upset? Because last time I tried to kill you in the last video, it didn't work. That gives me an idea. What if we do a character that's known for being extremely hard to destroy? I know one. How about we do SAP 682? That's brilliant. Just by chance, that's what I was going to say too. <laughs> it's almost like we planned this in advance. So yeah, Maybe. so in your last video, you tried to kill me, but it didn't work because we continue to do videos and I'm also still alive. Oh yeah, that, that, that made, that's a good point. You know the other thing about SCP-682? What? He's hard to kill. He's hard to kill, but he also likes killing people. <laughs> uh, -oh. uh I'm just going to shut this camera for a second. You guys, don't go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, SCP-682. 682. One of the most famous SCPs. Exactly. He's hard to kill, hard to destroy. Will he be hard to draw? Maybe. Well, let's see, I'm going to start with his eye, because as anybody who watches this channel on a regular basis knows, that's where I like to start. Alright, I'm going to start with his sort of alligator skull like head. Give me a sec. So I, in making my version, I pulled from a couple sources. I pulled from uh, the screenshot of the thumbnail for a video by uh, SCP Explained, the YouTube channel SCP Explained for part of this, for part of the head area. And then a part of it I uh, got from DeviantArt. I neglected to write down the artist's name. So if I used you as a reference, I'm sorry. I, I had a hard time finding that source image that I based part of this guy on. I'm, I, I'm making my own version of SCP-682. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's got a lot of hair. Well, you, I'm also making my own version. You're just making a version different than mine. Mine kind of looks like SCP-3000. Uh -huh. But if he was smaller and had teeth. Uh -huh. So, yeah, we've been kind of getting into this SCP stuff over the past few months at the Blakely house. Well, we, yeah, we have. Yeah, I'm just saying. Alright, I'm going to try to draw. I, f I think I first heard about SCP oh, maybe last year, the year before, from a student of mine. And he was like, you know, hey, Mr. Blakely, you got to check out this SCP thing. And I had, at that point, never heard of it. I have, but I didn't know what it was. I mean, like, I didn't know what my, my brother was talking about. I was like, I was, it was like some kind of monster channel. Mm -hmm. I was like, but I was like, no, so it's like SCP stuff. I'm like, what's an SCP? Yes, indeed. And now you know, and I know. And everyone knows. Not really everyone. No, oh, no, not everyone, but I feel like a lot of this SCP stuff is getting more and more popular. It just started off as nothing. Yeah, well, it's a, you know, it's a it's a wiki. It's a free, uh, open source. I feel like I'm butchering this, but Creative Commons, uh, you know, sort of website with lots of cool monster ideas. So, um, so yeah, you can see my kind of reptile head. I'm gonna. I think what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna do a series of uh, spines here, like vertebrae. Extending from the back because I see that a lot in these uh, depictions of SCP-682. To my mind, that's one of the coolest features. So I'm going to. They go of, kind of bigger. Mm-hmm. I sort of like the kind of partially. Uh, partially realistic. Or what, what am I trying to say? Partially 
Um, yeah, I to I'm sorry, friends. I totally lost my train of thought there. Uh, just like how parts of this are alive looking and parts of it are skeletal or dead looking. As you may have noticed, I kind of, uh, not in a creepy way, but I do kind of enjoy some of the aesthetics of, you know, like skeletal things and bones. And so again, as this is coming down, I'm trying to sort of picture, you know, this extending through the uh, back and down to the tail. It's almost like, it starts out kind of like animal vertebrae and then it sort of transforms almost like into dragon scales or, you know, like, a, not dragon scales, but like a, the horned back of like a lizard or dragon. Liz. Right, the spiked back. Hey, I don't cool. know why he has so much hair. Yeah, I don't know either. Well, it's not exactly a reptile, right? It's reptile-like. Hey, Dad. Yeah. Oops. I yes. want to ask you a question. Yeah. What if every... What if, like, all the most deadly SCPs were released? Um, they breached containment cell. What would happen? Like, all the most deadly ones. Mm, I think we like, would probably all be dead. Like, 682, 173... Mm -hmm. Zero nine six one oh six one oh six. Uh, what would happen, Maxie? I feel like you have been talking about creating a some kind of board game. Yeah, I wanted to create a an SCP board game about like where you where you get to pick one SCP mm -hmm. to start with, and then like eventually you can like have more SCPs. Mm -hmm. Or you can even like become. Like, maybe not even an SCP, you could be become something else, like, you know, something, a level 5 agent or something. Who knows? That sounds cool. It might take a while. Mm-hmm. What would happen if an SCP did, what happens if the an SCP did manage to find its way into a public area? I mean, it would depend on what class of SCP it was. Some of them are considered safe, right? Some, some are, there's actually a level higher than Keter. Hmm. It's probably, like, we're the most deadliest on, in the universe that can never be, like, it's not, it's not, they don't hold them because of them, of how dangerous they are. Mm -hmm. It's, they hold them is how, they do it how, of how, hard it is to hold them not how dangerous they are mm -hmm. like if something was really ew, safe safe but really hard to contain like it wouldn't mm -hmm. hurt anyone but it's really hard to contain it might be like a euclid ca class object mm -hmm. it's going to be pretty hard to contain even though it's safe it's going to be hard to contain you know <clears throat> i sometimes have a hard time remembering like what the different designations are. There's safe, you, you Euclid, Keter, Keter, and then mm. one more level higher than that. Mm, interesting. Wait, why do you have a skull eraser on the back of oh. your unerasable pen? Um, honestly, a couple reasons. One, I like the I like the counterweight at the end of my um at the end of my pen. And two, I just kind of like how it looks. Imagine seeing this guy come to real life. He'd be like, ah. but if that came to real life, it would, it would still just be paper. I, I'm not sure exactly what you mean by that, but... I mean, like, right. these things came to life. Mm-hmm. I mean, you were, they would just be made out of paper. There was once an SCP... Like, there was this SCP that made a, like, another version of 682 that was made as paper and bacon. Weird. I think. Anyhow, friends, um, what do you think? Should we color these, Max? Yeah. Let's do it.
right. SCP-682. And turned out he wasn't super hard to draw, but he was uh, quite a bit of fun. Or she? Or she. Awesome. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this, folks at home, and I hope that you uh, will comment and let us know what other SCPs we should be doing. Or, <laughs> or maybe you guys are going to comment and say, hey, Blakely's, get back to more Subnautica drawings. Never. But no, we're going to do more Subnautica. We still have like 10 Subnautica requests. So just. How many? Like 10. That's what I just said. But sometimes, uh... you know, I got to. I gotta, I gotta mix it up a little bit to keep these kids of mine interested in coming back. So, uh, yeah. Just SCP-682 is gonna curl himself up on his, his grassy fields. Mm -hmm. He's gonna be, he's gonna look for anyone who comes near him, he's gonna rip their heads off. Mm -hmm. Even his feet are, are a little bloody. That's right. He's bloody from doing battle. Anyhow. Probably from SCP-759. I'm just speaking gibberish. There's no such thing. And it's be like, maybe there is. There could be. You know the thing about SCPs, there's more of them every day. All right, so, yeah. Thanks for watching another one of our videos. He's got some. He's On looking. your screen, you should see our I logo. Know. Click on that to subscribe and go ahead and ring that bell and that will let you know whenever we release a new video. Also, if you um, like this, smash that thumbs up button. And if you want us to draw an SCP, comment down below. That's right. This guy's been in here enough times for <laughs> to hear this spiel that I give every time. All right, friends. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye.